In geology, a valley is an extended depression, typically between hills or mountains, that is longer than it is wide, and normally has a river running through it. Valleys are among the most common features in the world, and they're typically formed through erosion, which is the gradual wearing down of material by wind, water, and or other methods. The majority of valleys are either U-shaped, broad plains, or V-shaped and steep-sided, or a mixture of them. However, a valley's form depends on many factors, like what's eroding it, the slope of the land, the type of the rock and soil, and the amount of time that has passed. There exist many types of valleys, however, the most common are V-shaped valleys, U-shaped valleys, and flat-floored valleys. V-shaped valleys are narrow, with steep sloped sides. Most of the time, they're formed by strong flows of water from a river or a stream, which have eroded the rock under them, grinding it down to create a valley through a process called downcutting. These rivers can often slope towards an outlet, which might be another river, a lake, or an ocean. These valleys often form in mountainous or high areas with youthful, quick-flowing streams that flow rapidly. A good example of this is the Grand Canyon in the United States, which was formed by the Colorado River eroding the rock of the Colorado Plateau over the course of millions of years, forming its iconic shape. U-shaped valleys, also known as glacial troughs, have steep sides that curve in at the base of the valley wall and have wide floors. Most are formed by massive glaciers that move slowly down slopes, eroding away the earth. These valleys are typically found in areas high in elevation and in high latitudes where glaciers are present. Glaciers in high altitudes are called continental glaciers or ice sheets, and while those in mountain ranges are called alpine or mountain glaciers. The sheer size and weight of these glaciers can completely change maps over the course of thousands of years. Yosemite Valley in California is one of the world's most famous U-shaped valleys. It was eroded by glaciers during the last glaciation and now has the Merced River running through it. Flat-floored valleys are the most common in the world. These, like V-shaped valleys, are often formed by rivers and streams, but these streams are no longer new and quick-flowing, but instead become a meander. A meander is one of a regular series of curves, bends, loops, turns, or windings in a watercourse. This slower moving water tends to erode the banks of the water channel rather than the valley walls, widening the floor of the valley. Over time, the shape changes from a V or U shape into a broad and flat valley floor. An excellent example of this type is the Nile River Valley. There are also rift valleys that are formed by the action of a geological rift or fault on the edge of tectonic plates, creating valleys like the East African Rift. At the bottom of many valleys, there's usually a base level where the water levels smooth out due to reaching the limits of erosion, whether by reaching sea level or erosion-resistant material. This area is usually called a floodplain. A floodplain is the area of land next to a stream or river stretching from the banks of the channel to the base of the enclosing valley walls, and experiences flooding during periods of high water discharge. Floodplains can support incredibly rich ecosystems, both in quantity and in diversity. They can contain 100 or even a thousand times as many species as rivers. When they periodically flood, it releases a massive surge in nutrients which causes microorganisms to thrive and many other species to take advantage of it. Valleys and their associated parts aren't just cool-looking landmarks. They've also had a great value to human civilization. From the beginning of human society, people have built near valleys and floodplains for a number of reasons, like close proximity to rivers. This is so common, there's an entire category of river civilizations. There are many advantages to these locations, like easy access to a reliable source of water for agriculture and human needs, easy transportation thanks to boats on the river, and very importantly, the periodic flooding of the floodplains makes for a very nutrient-rich soil, which is excellent for farming, which made it possible to grow more crops than necessary to sustain a population, which freed up people to engage in activities like construction, metalworking, trade, and learning, allowing civilizations to grow. Ancient Mesopotamia was the earliest river valley civilization, forming around 3500 BC in the Tigris-Euphrates river system. They were one of the first Bronze Age societies in the world, developing many technologies like metal and copper working, glass and lamp making, water storage and irrigation, and many others. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned something today. Anyways, please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. Anyways, have a nice day everybody.